After his teenage grandson Leandro passed away unexpectedly on Monday evening, Robert De Niro was seen leaving for a New York City funeral home. The 79-year-old actor was observed leaving his Upper East Side home and getting into a black SUV that would take him to the Frankie Campbell Funeral Home, which was only a few streets away from his apartment. He was wearing a flat cap and a medical face mask. Leandro, his 18-year-old grandson, was discovered dead on Sunday in a chair beside some white powder at his Wall Street apartment complex. Along with Leandro's parents, Trina De Niro, the actor's adopted daughter, and Carlos Rodriguez, an artist, De Niro came to the funeral home. After visiting the funeral home, Trina shared a sorrowful update, claiming she had hugged Lee Andrew's body for the last time and that he did not deserve to die like this. She commented, I can only believe that God needed a strong powerful angel in their army. You did not deserve to die like this. She said, the same man drove us to the funeral home where I touched and held you for the last time. He picked us up from the hospital when you were born. According to authorities, Leandro was discovered lifeless in a $1 million house with a white powdery substance on a plate close to his corpse. Leandro's mother Drina, 51, and his well-known graffiti artist Father Carlos, released a message on Instagram on Monday in response to his tragic death. We said our dear son Leo farewell with unimaginable shock and anguish. We appreciate all of the love and care that has been shown to us, but we need some solitude right now to absorb this unbearable loss. Carlos added the message, you cannot spell love without Leo, to the photo, which featured adorable images of Leandro at various ages. Leandro's mother Drina, who was adopted by the Oscar-winning actor as a youngster, was home earlier in the day when Carlos was spotted outside with a suit in his arm. You cannot spell love without Leo, he repeatedly told the cameras while donning a baseball cap in a shade of dark blue that matched his outfit. On Drina's Instagram, the distraught father had earlier sent a message. Words cannot adequately describe the joy he brought us or the sadness we are currently experiencing alongside our family and friends. He is now a child of God. His energy illuminates what could not be seen in the dark under this full moon, he remarked. Leandro, an aspiring actor and director who was following in the footsteps of his mother and grandparents, won a tiny part as the son of Bradley Cooper's closest friend, George Noodles Stone, played by Dave Chappelle in the 2018 film A Star Is Born. 2018 saw him as well in Cabaret Maxime. Following the announcement, many flower deliveries were also observed being made to Drina's house on Monday. De Niro had already spoken out about the passing of his grandchild on Monday. I am terribly devastated by the demise of my dear grandson Leo, the actor wrote in a statement today. Thank you very much for your sympathies, everyone. Please give us some space so we may mourn Leo in private. Lee and Rose passing was confirmed by Drina on Instagram, who wrote, I wish that love alone could have saved you.
The teen's lifeless corpse was discovered inside a $950,000 one-bedroom apartment at the Ciprioni Club residences on Wall Street, where it was sitting on a chair. According to a police source, the chemical was discovered close to his corpse and showed no evidence of trauma. According to a police source who spoke to TMZ, he was discovered by a buddy who had not heard from him in a few days and was checking on him. Lee Andro's residence in the building was confirmed by the 55 Wall Street concierge. He said that he had lived alone in the posh flat on the sixth floor for less than a year. The residence is housed in the same stone structure as Ciprioni, a posh location for gatherings. He characterized Leandro as a kind young man who always said hello to him when he entered or exited a room. The concierge added, I would see him every so often, and he would always say hi. He just was kind and kept to himself. He said, I did not know who he was until I read the account. It is tragic. My co-worker mentioned to me just now that my daughter had turned 20. You can observe Lee and Rose in the image young age. The doorman said that De Niro was never in the flat. On an otherwise quiet Sunday afternoon, residents of the building close to the Wall Street subway stop informed Daily Mail. Com that they witnessed an ambulance and a fire vehicle arrive. Before Monday morning, when word spread that D. Niro's grandson had been discovered unconscious in his apartment, they were ignorant of what had transpired. After the actor wed Drina's mother, Diane Abbott, in 1976, Drina was adopted by De Niro and acquired his last name. Because of her father's successful business, she led a very mobile existence, dividing her time between New York City, Los Angeles, and Italy. Drina opted to pursue the arts when she finished school, trying her hand at a variety of jobs including model, DJ, and fashion consultant. She ultimately made the decision to emulate De Niro, and she quickly established herself as an actor and director. In spite of their 1988 divorce from Drina's mother, De Niro remained a significant figure in her life. In 2003, she welcomed Leandro with her then boyfriend Carlos Rodriguez, making De Niro a grandpa. Drina, who presently resides in New York, says she was trained in Muay Thai and martial arts and has since focused on directing. Drina is five years older at 51 than D. Niro's oldest biological kid from his marriage to Abbott, Raphael. He is a 46-year-old Manhattan real estate agent whose famous customers have included Renee Zellweger and John Bon Jovi. In addition, D. Niro has two kids from his relationship with Tukey Smith a former model and actress, which lasted from 1988 until 1995. Aaron and Julian, twins, are 27 years old. They were born by a surrogate mother after being conceived through in vitro fertilization. During his turbulent 20-year marriage to his second wife, former flight attendant Grace Hightower, he also had a son, Elliot, 21, and a daughter, Helen, 11, both of whom were born via surrogate, in 1998 and 2011, respectively.
The 79-year-old actor announced in May that he and his 43-year-old girlfriend Tiffany Chan, with whom he has been romantically associated since summer 2021, have born their seventh child, Gia Virginia. After charging multiple Chinese businesses and executives for their suspected involvement in the U.S. Fentanyl trafficking, Leandro's death occurred. According to federal prosecutors, China currently manufactures and exports almost all fentanyl precursors. To obtain its fentanyl components, Criminal groups like the famed Sinaloa cartel in Mexico collaborate with Chinese businesses.